so oh my gosh i have been up to literally everything if you haven't been following my main page you see that i've been doing reactions like crazy i don't even know how many videos i'm at right now i think i'm at uh, a couple thousand hold on let me check i can look give me, give me five seconds and i have an answer for you shawty oh, i don't even have a thousand yet i'm at 871 videos i've been working hard okay we're gonna be just like a real life a life update of what's happened since like the last vlog and i really think the last vlog was in january it's now november 13th i'm sorry i'm so sorry and that's crazy because at the beginning of the year i was like i'm gonna vlog every day don't judge me okay it, it was it was a part of the plan originally i promise you it was but plan went left very quickly don't mind the back i don't know how to get my camera to mirror properly and i'm using my phone so because i use my camera for streaming i don't want to have to unplug it plug it back in and do all of that i just feel like i'm rambling i think i am rambling i think that's the point of this is rambling right i think so um today i am in the house all day usually i take my cousin to school in the morning and i didn't have to today because she was not feeling well and i really hope she feels better because it sounded like it was getting rough what that consists of is since i'm not doing that i'm doing a lot of stuff inside today so i'm posting today's video which i should have did yesterday to schedule to post it like i usually do but i didn't i don't know why i didn't i don't know if i felt like i didn't have the time but i, I probably took a nap actually yeah i usually take naps like around towards the end of the day and i forgot that i had a video that actually posted yesterday so it's crazy i also need to film today though for the main channel and that's what we're gonna be doing but what that also means is i have an assignment due now before you start to ask questions on um, whether or not i go to college i don't technically i don't i just am helping someone with their assignments and i'm not gonna snitch on them because i don't want y'all to snitch on me yeah so in your face but um that's also what i'm gonna be doing and it's like a business class so it kind of helps me while i'm helping them you know like i don't know and again if you like catching me looking at different places right now i'm looking at the apple that's on the back of my phone because i don't know where to look to make it look like we you know you feel me so let's take this as like the first run of lb's vlogs because y'all know the the ones back in the day that were on the main channel Whew, thank goodness curve privated all of those videos because those were a little atrocious and they didn't really have intros and they didn't really have voiceovers i'm like, really excited for the new wave of vlogs that i'm gonna be producing I love that producing an LB production. You know what? Um, I'm rambling again. So I will catch y'all in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna listen to some music and get into my little production grind. See you at Leisha. So y'all, I done already had lunch and let me tell you, the reason why uh, y'all only saw like what I ate, which was meatloaf, fried cabbage, and red potatoes, like mashed red potatoes or kind of mashed red potatoes was because I've literally been on my phone all day. We're not going to have any internet until tomorrow. That's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh. Life has been really life and lately y'all. It's been like stressing me out and like I know I stream every day, Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 8.30 small plug soft plug if y'all want to call it whatever you want to call it i be on there every day on youtube and i know i seem like oh happy go lucky and i love that because i really deep down want to be that all the time but there's a small little sliver in me that's just like drowning it is and i know that sounds very depressing and i'm not trying to be depressing right now but but yeah that's really that's all that's been happening other than like you know the channel doing good main channel's doing good this channel i'm not sure if i'm gonna put this on the main channel or on the second channel yet Yet, but mm, stay tuned anyway if i do it's gonna be just me i'll be all all around you know it'll be crew all day you feel me um yeah i decided why not do some questions and answers um and these are some of the like main questions that i've been asked in my dms and stuff like that but here we go here we go we're just gonna get into it okay okay the first question is what made you start a youtube channel and i think that's a good question and i know i'm gonna sound really corny for saying this but or you check my main page i've had that page since 2012. i've always known i wanted to be like an influencer type yeah you know but one thing that really made me want to get serious and like doing content creation and stuff like that and don't chew my head off was 
was watching Mr. Beast do the spending $10,000 in one hour challenge for his people, for like Chandler and Chris at the time, and all of his people. And that like fascinated me to no end and like all of the good stuff that he does with all of that money. It made me want to be like, I want to do that for my people. I want to do that for my community. I want to be able to do all of that. And it was just that big idea in my head. But little did I know, got to put a lot more work into trying to do stuff like that. So I haven't been fortunate enough to do an event like that yet. The biggest thing I've done was give a hundred dollars for uh, once I hit a thousand subscribers. And even then I didn't do like just a hundred dollars. I did like 175, $200 worth of stuff of me just giving away. And I'm very fortunate that I was able to do that. Cause right now, our next thing is 5K on the main channel and then we'll do a bigger giveaway. My biggest thing that I was going to do by the end of the year, but now we only got like less than two months left, is if I made 100,000 subscribers on the main channel, by the end of the year, I was gonna give away $1,000. But seeing as we're only at, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it doesn't look like it's, that achievable right now only because i don't know it's very hard for like me to get youtube to push me out if that makes sense because on my reaction channel i think i'm doing pretty damn good on the main channel and like it doesn't work the way that i'm expecting it to and that never it never ends up being like that but i'm getting off on a side tangent that is the reason why I wanted to create a YouTube channel is because I wanted to do fun things for my community. Yeah, yeah, we getting fluffy and mushy with it. Question number two is how many kids do you want? Baby, let me tell you something. And I'm very, very specific about this. When I was younger, it used to be like, I want five kids. That was coming from an only child though, at the time. But that was when I was like nine, 10. I'm no longer an only child. I'm 10 years older than my little brother. So at that time, I wanted like five kids. But now you could catch me with a good three, four. Four max, three at least, because I want a set of twins and then one more. But there's no twins that run in my, my bloodline, so. <laughs> really sad about that but I do want three kids period and I already have the names out the names in my head kind of for the boys and the girls like you know I saw it on TikTok and then those little swipe things where you can see the baby's names oh I saw some cute ones because at first my kids names were gonna be Mason and Major for the boys and then I couldn't figure out anything for the girls because I wasn't really thinking about girl names at the time I found a couple of girls names that I want to keep to myself until I make the decision of whether or not I'm going to use them you feel me and since I don't have kids yet and I ain't pregnant right now that's gonna be on the hush okay question number three what's your type that is, a, that is a good question. And you know what immediately came into my head right after asking that question out loud? That'd be too soon to do so. And I don't know why, because that's not, that's... <laughs> That's not a requirement of mine. For me personally, like my type is just somebody that's funny, that is preferably a little older than me, that can make me smile, and that like not drop dead gorgeous, but like fine. You feel me? You have to, I, I have to think you look good as well as you being funny, kind, respectful, loyal, all of that. All of that is basic stuff that should just be included already. But you know, I just gotta, I just gotta, I gotta feel it. I gotta be able to feel it. It's gotta be like, not no love at first sight type, man but like it's got to be like something pretty close to that the next question is what do you want to be when you grow up and i think this is because a lot of the people on my channel are from ages 10 to like 16 17 i'm not sure why y'all asking me this i'm 25 as of recording this video what i want to be when i grow up is a influencer like i want to become a great content creator if anything i want my own production company to where i could bring up other content creators you me you know how like music labels do the um like music labels find artists i want to be like that for influencers if that makes sense because you know everybody's got to start somewhere and some people feel like they can't start because they don't have you know the funds the cameras and all of that even though you don't need that to start a youtube channel or start anything like that because i'm literally filming this on my phone even though it is in my office that i have strict used for my stream and stuff like that you don't have to start here you can literally start on any phone you got that's what i want to be that's that's kind of like it's a bigger picture and when i'm telling you this the, the production thing or the content creator agency type of thing it that's just a very small explanation as to what i want to do this one's a very deep one it says if you do get famous on youtube what's your plan if i do get famous on youtube period we manifesting around this bitch when i get famous on youtube <laughs> over that's overly confident okay 
Um, in the case that that happens, I actually have a lot planned. Like I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about, a lot of things that I want to start. Like I'm very excited for what that chapter of my life has to hold because it's just going to be nothing but like fun shit. Like it's going to be up and I know I'm going to be like, I'm already dead tired, but I'm going to be like even more dead tired because I'm not going to be sleeping because I'm going to be working on so many different things. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite app? The fav my favorite app on my phone right now, and this is going to sound very corny, is the YouTube studio app because I get to track my analytics for my YouTube channel, for the main channel. I usually use it on the main channel because literally I haven't made a post since January on the second channel. But it lets me track my analytics and it just like helps me feed into my manifestation of this is this is gonna work. You know, like it helps me think about like the future and where I'm currently at because right now we're at 4,895 subs. Oh, we're almost to 5K. I hope we hit 5K at least by the end of the year on the main channel. That would be dope. That would be so dope. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite fast food, fast food would have to be Chick-fil-A. But the one in my city, one of them, cause one just opened closer to my house, but the one that was the main one in my city for a while, they just had like a real bad scandal with a little bit of racism on top. And I mean like, I'm a Chick-fil-A girly. Chick-fil-A like all day over Popeyes and KFC. Can you sprinkle racism on top of it? It makes me not want to eat there. You know, it just, it just ruffles some feathers in a different kind of way. What is your favorite place to shop at? My favorite place to shop at I really don't I I barely be outside when I tell y'all I'm I'm making video 24 7 I really am um <laughs> but my favorite place to shop outside is the mall that's in my area because they have several different shops like they have the fye store and i'm not sure if in y'all's areas y'all have that store but it's like all of the nostalgic like cartoons and anime in that store they have like graphic tees and oh my god it's just so much nice stuff in there that you could just get like i got this shirt from uh it's like a Scooby-Doo shirt and it's got Scooby-Doo on it and Shaggy, I think. It's purple and it's long sleeve and it's cute. And you might've seen me wear it on stream before. That shit is five. And I got it from the FYE store. And I think FYE is five, right? Five store. I got it from there in, in the mall where I live. The mall in general is like a, my favorite places to shop at because it's got so much shit. I, and I'm a shoe girl. I'm a shoe girly. And we got a Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker, Champ, and two shoe palaces and a Journeys and the journeys kids i can't shop at the journeys kids bought my best friend some tims from the journeys but the foot lockers in that whole ecosystem alone oh my gosh if you ever need a shoe game there you go but i like to also buy my shoes online because i don't like buying the shoes in the store because that means everybody has access to them and everybody's gonna get them i like having shoes that not everybody has but still look good okay still gotta look good when was your first boyfriend is question number 11. that's a good question because i was in a very sticky situation for like a good six seven years seven eight probably seven eight and i don't remember when that started i just know it started like right after high school maybe that's why maybe i trauma blocked that whole section of my life out except for you know hot spots you feel me because that one was real anyway <laughs> we're gonna move on from that because that's a dark space that uh, i don't really like to go back to sometimes what was my first car is the last question of this q a and my first car was a 2012 ford fusion in like an aqua blue color it was so freaking cute and i wrecked it three months after owning it i bought it myself like my well i gave my mom a thousand dollars out of the place that i was working at for my first check and she said that she would give me a car with it so she got me that car and let me tell you i was so happy because my mom had made me walk home from summer school all summer long the entire summer and then on the last day of summer school, I see my mom in a car that I didn't know like whose car it was. So she pulls up like at the taco stand that's across the street and my cousin's walking with me. And she's like, is that your mom? Whose car is that? So we walked over to her. My mom's like, you like your new car? And she has this thing that when she does like surprises and stuff, it kind of just gives that vibe. Like, no, oh, this is yours. Like, it, 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 like my jaw was on the floor the whole time. And my cousin was just jumping around me like, oh my God. Like she was freaking out more than I was because I was just shocked. But that car was nice. It was nice moment. You had me walking all summer, but that was nice and I ain't walked since. So her, her, her. But I did, I did wreck the car three months after owning it. Trying to do a U-turn that I probably shouldn't have been trying to do. Yeah. All to get back to a job that I hated because I had forgot to clock out. That's a whole different story. If y'all wanna if y'all wanna learn about my first car accident, I'll let you know happily. Just make sure you comment that down below. That's the end of this QA. Alright, y'all. So that's gonna be the end of 
today's vlog. I know, I know, first vlog back. If you have any more questions for me and you want me to answer them in the next vlog, definitely let me know because the internet went out at our house today so I couldn't really do much of anything else that I wanted to show you guys. So that's fantastic. I didn't even get to film for tomorrow, which is technically today or any other days this week. So hopefully they come and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.